Thanks for the help. You're welcome. Sense of sarcasm, buddy. That was hard graft. I'm worn out, clean as a rat, and sick as a dog. I had no idea the effluvium would commence so early on. Serves you right. Don't forget this is all on you, motherfucker. You're lucky you're not in the slammer already. Well, I appreciate the swell of confidence that balls are in your chest cavity, Thomas. Now, that's sarcasm I can sense. And what an observant fellow you've become. Don't push it. Don't fucking push it. You've really crossed the line this time. Just get in a fucking car and don't call me Thomas. I've never known anyone to be so repulsed by their own God-given name. I just prefer it shorter. What? Thomas, Tommy, Thomas, Tommy. What, the shorter version, the one that contains an equal amount of syllables? It's just more fucking snappy. As is your attitude, my friend. I simply don't know what's coming over you of late. Are you fucking kidding me? Don't you understand the gravity of the situation? It's fine. No, Cole, it's not fine. In fact, it's the opposite of fine. Don't fret, Du Bois. She's the less dead anyway. What the fuck is that supposed to mean? Well, firstly, she's a lady of the night. And secondly, well, she's... I'm sorry, what's the current accepted expression? She's black. Exactly. She's hardly John Bonnet Ramsey now, is she? A column in the free press at most? You're unbelievable, do you know that? You have no idea how much trouble you're in, do you? What crossing the line means for you from now on? That you're going to be condescending from here on out. Fuck off. Articulate. So what now then? You're going to get the fuck out of here, and I doubt we're not even Ansel will find you. Then I'm going to go and get some men. And then the firm could deal with you. Very well. One small request. What? Take me to the nearest kebab shop. My navel's welded to my spine, the boy. She dug a tiger pit way too deep. She put the tools away. She went to sleep. He walked the country road with soldiers. Cascading minor key at Silda's doom. Now, obviously. It's only natural to assume this issue may be out of our hands. But don't go pressing the big red button just yet. No sense blowing us all to hell. I'm fairly confident that Luger will prove loyal to us in this delicate situation. And if not, he'll find himself responsible for his wife's miscarriage. God knows they've tried everything south of a fucking gangbang to get that bun cooking at an even temperature. That's a bit fucking overboard though, ain't it? More importantly, I'll try and enjoy a snack and a beverage over here, not fucking joke on it. Overpriced don't do it justice. They got this shit jacked up so high you're forced to enjoy it. It's how they hook you up. Five bones a cup and you still come back. And why? Because it must be some top grade Indonesian shit for that price, surely. Have you heard of Indo coffee? They call it Luwak. $160 a pound it costs. You know why? I'm sure you're going to enlighten me anyway. Here's why. Here's why. They feed the beans to a jacked up mongoose to shit out before they ship it. Why don't you just get the coffee from here? It's free. I don't drink that dirt. This is a guan quad, non-fat, one pump, no whip mocker. Not some shit drizzled out of a crusty old machine. Not interested in our coffee, yet a fucking mongoose takes a dump on the ground and you can't wait to stir that shit into your drink. It's got to be fucking good though, isn't it? Look, can we get back to business, please? Or are you going to keep up with your barrister rhetoric? Because if that's the case, I'm out. I'll go lay down the road or something. I'm just saying, it's an inside out world we live in, Frank, and that's without you threatening the attorney with spaticide. I know it's way below your moral station and the idea makes me very fucking uncomfortable. Kids do not get caught up in this shit. You know this. You don't see the tide flowing under the frozen water, Tommy. I'm in no hurry to be slaughtering innocents. The firm ain't into the kid killing business, you know that. It's first in the fucking Thames. Nobody who hasn't brought it down upon themselves. Did you all bring it down upon herself? Look, we all make mistakes. Johnny will pay for his, whether through the firm or, God forbid, Scotland fucking yard. 
The fetus is just fodder for the security of the cause. The threat alone will push Luger into gear. We paid for the IVF for fuck's sake. You think we're just gonna tear up that cash of a coat hanger? I guess. So do we know the identity of the rat yet? Nah. When do I get to start tearing off fingernails then? No, Tommy. There is no rat. The fuck do you mean no rat? Al's where I found her under there. Nobody was looking. It must have been a tip-off. There was no tip-off. It was maggots. Impossible. Bullshit. Bullshit. Me and Colt buried that bitch deep. There's no way. Somebody must have sold him out. I'm telling you, it was maggots. Tell me it was fucking fairies if you like. Still means the same. Or you could do me a favour and elaborate. I suggest you calm down first. Mind if I join you, sugar? No. Something tells me you're not from round here. Sehr gut. So, where are you from then? Nuremberg. Nuremberg? So what the hell are you doing here? You can't tell me. Fast fast do you? I'm obliged to hang around here and do nothing all day by order of that gentleman across the way. Dein Ehrmann. Yes, well, more like my employer, I guess. I'm supposed to be seen and not heard, an empty existence. If I said that. I would, if the salary and the cure wasn't so plentiful. Ah, uh, it's bad. Ich habe eine Treffe. Okay, Nuremberg. Selfie. Oh. I'll give it to you in a way I think you'll appreciate. How many different types of fly do you think there are, Mr. Browning? Funny, I don't know, 200. 16,000 to be precise. Nice bit of bullshit trivia for you to add to your repertoire. All right, easy, make your fucking point. See, one of these species is called the coffin fly. Now, the coffin fly can smell the fuck out of a nice rotting corpse. It's like catnip to these bastards, right? So they burrow into the ground at a rate of what? Half a metre every four days? Once they reach the submerged corpse, they begin to breed. Now only one pair of coffin flies can produce up to 55 million offspring in only 60 days, and that is quite the maggot problem. I think it's safe to say, if only a few of these beauties reach the surface, some fucking Joe is gonna notice. Fuck it. Fuck it indeed. Now I'll tell you about average Joe. He's a bored and broken little man that has a job that makes him wanna kill himself on a daily basis, just for the thrill of it. He's got three kids at home who don't even know his age, let alone his fucking birthday. And his wife, yeah? She don't want him having any fucking pussy. Not hers, not anyone else's, not even a fucking sniff. So this makes something as mindless to you and I as a big pile of maggots quite appealing for old Joe. Shit, with the discovery of a dead hooker, he might even make the evening paper. Maybe be on TV for a second. Then he'll finally be noticed by those few people around him that can't stand the prick. So he calls Bobby. Bobby comes and digs up the bitch finds a load of crusty white DNA up her ass and runs it through the system. Hello, who's this? Johnny fucking Colt. Two counts of armed robbery, one count of aggravated assault, right there in the database, bold as brass. All right, all right, I get it. Don't suspect the firm, mate. They can smell the nervous armpits of a squealer a fucking mile off. What a nightmare. Well, he's safe and sound in the clink for the time being. What is it, Beretta? Can I get you boys a drink? No, and just get yourself a fucking water, yeah? I can fucking handle myself, Frank. Where's the other shoe? Huh? Oh, I don't give a fuck. I'm a free spirit. Well, darling, they cost half a grand. So I suggest you take that free spirit of yours on a little adventure down the yellow brick road and locate the other ruby slipper before I set the fucking monkeys on you. You don't have any monkeys. No, I don't have any fucking monkeys, but I will stop paying your bar tab. OK, OK, I'm going. Jesus fucking Christ. Watch your fucking mouth, darling. You need to get that dog a fucking lead. Oh, you can watch your fucking gob and all. Nah, I'm sorry, mate, I'm only joking. I'll call a fucking kennel, yeah? <laughs> Who's the green old? Mr. Yard Kingaway, and a safe shit. Fuck you playing that, Luger. You don't just bring some Jerry in here and expect us to be cool with that. You know what the stakes are. You don't bet against the ass. Oh, I'm well aware of the stakes, boys. You think after the twisted shit that you two tried putting, that I'd just come waltzing in here by myself? You were talking to my wife. Es war angenehm. Du solltest es irgendwann versuchen. 
the fuck did he say, Luger? I believe he said yes. Don't test us, lads. I think you just proved my point, mate. Putting a fucking pocket rocket in here of all places, and I was just supposed to come in here on my own, unarmed, was I? Where is Beretta? She's fine, she's safe. Where is Colt, Luger? Colt is secure. Has bail been set? There ain't no bail. There ain't no need. The fuck do you mean, no need? Don't even worry about it, gents. All taken care of. You better start making some goddamn sense before we plug the two of you and gut your wife. Brandon, easy, easy. Sit down, yeah? See? You keep hitting that nerve. Which makes me nervous. And when I get nervous, Mr. Gawair here gets nervous. Did I? When Mr. Gawair gets nervous, very awful things tend to happen. So if I, you two, I'd stop mentioning the wife. All right? Did I? I'm sorry, Luger. We both apologise. Don't be Browning. Yeah. Eins. You know what? That won't be necessary, lads. Eins. The fuck is he playing at? They're damned Eins. What the fuck is going on? Grand quad, non-fat, one pump, no whip mocker. Ah, and a few drops of this. Fuck this. The fuck? Oh shit. You don't know me very well, do you, Mr. Brown? See, I'm a family man, and a fucking good one. I'm not entirely sure you know what that position entails. Hell, I'm sure that Thompson here doesn't, especially judged by the way he speaks to his wife. So let me explain it to you. To a family man, his wife and child are sacrosanct. They're the be all and end all, the bee's fucking knees. So when their well-being's threatened, by some two-bit zebras who can't even keep a leash on their feral brother. It really does strike a chord. A dissonant chord that rings through the atmosphere of the very psyche of relentless sustain. Don't squeal now, Thomas. Both of you hurt my feelings. And I just can't. Well, I can't ignore something like that. I don't think you could either. Hell, you pulled a gun on Mr. Gawair here over simple linguistics alone. And while we're on the subject, I'm now going to have to replace Mr. Gawair, which is going to be incredibly stressful. You said it. You said it yourself, Mr. Browning. Don't bet against the house. You should have practiced what you preach. Brown, I found my own shit. The fuck? Yeah, things got a little bit out of hand, I'm afraid. Well, get my other fucking shoe. I'm not stepping over that shit. I bet still be entitled to his assets after all of this horse shit. Well, I am still his attorney, and I. <laughs>